Welcome to the NewsPod podcast. NewsPod is an automatic and interactive news podcast. Listeners can select which topics to include. The podcast simulates a conversation with multiple voices. During the podcast, the listener can ask questions. Today, we'll cover four stories. Switzerland Burka ban, Senegal jailed opposition leader, Rohingya crisis in India and Tesla self-driving safety. Let's get started. Next up, Switzerland burqa ban. Switzerland votes to ban wearing of the burqa or niqab in public spaces. Referendum denounced by rights group as needlessly fueling division and fear, after Swiss right-wing party had framed it as verdict on the role of Islam in public life. How many people wear the burqa in Switzerland? I'll look into that. I think the answer is 30, I got it from the following paragraph. She told AFP that the proposed law created the impression of a problem, but there are only 30 women in burqas in Switzerland. And what is the reason for the burqa ban? I'll look into that. I think the answer is a test of attitudes towards Muslims, I got it from the following paragraph. A far-right proposal to ban facial coverings in Switzerland appears to be heading for a narrow victory in a binding referendum viewed as a test of attitudes towards Muslims. What percentage of the population are Muslims? Muslims make up around 5% of the Swiss population of 8.6 million, or about 390,000 people, most of whom have their roots in Turkey, Bosnia and Kosovo. When was the veil banned? France banned the wearing of a full-face veil in public in 2011 in Denmark, Austria, the Netherlands and Bulgaria have full or partial bans and wearing face coverings in public. Ines al Sheikh. Spokeswoman for the Purple Headscarves Feminist Muslim Women's Group said, This is clearly an attack against the Muslim community in Switzerland. What is aimed here is to stigmatize and marginalize Muslims even more. Next up, Senegal jailed opposition leader. That's it for today, thanks for tuning in.